Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids and spaceships out in the wilds of space. The spaceship in particular has our boy Plank here going around and making a whole bunch of data banks so that we can get going in with some research. We're going to talk about that in a moment because I want to start taking advantage of some of the natural resources out here. In particular, particular we've got this that I want to go and start mining a little uh, swampy ore field wild out there in space but reverse Lynn last time we were building our nice little industrial plant over here we've got ourselves a metal refinery for turning iron uh, sort of turning iron ore into iron and then that iron into steel we have a little kiln inside there waiting for the water to be turned into steam so it can get its operation underway and a, actually a little cooling loop as well as a glass forge going on over here we can expand our cooling loops out and I fully intend to do so when we do actually get enough steel to expand oh we can look at this we oh no i've got the wrong thing that's why it's telling me we had enough uh we are halfway to the amount of steel that we need to expand out because i've got a little bit of cooling that needs to happen in particular this hot polluted oxygen vent over here has been making this area about 100 degrees now it's too hot for duplicates too hot for duplicates but the power required to get this area up and running is a little bit too much for my three coal generators here they, they generally are keeping well as you can see the battery is full right now but we're starting to eat through quite a lot of our coal resources I had 160 when I first uh, when I first loaded up this save I've let it run for uh, a few days just to see what's going on and we're now down to uh, 160 so uh, 130 sorry so we, we are definitely losing on the coal front Thankfully, there is a whole host of untapped resources that this base has for us. Something that we can use to turn its water into steam, then by, via the magic of the steam turbines, turn that, that heat into power. That's right, of course, I'm talking of magma. We've got ourselves a volcano down here. Yes, this, this is what I'm after. Let's go and start digging it out. Or rather, I will start digging this out when the duplicates wake back up because as always I've started talking when they've decided to go to sleep. Our duplicate Curie here is our dig and build extraordinaire duplicate. She should be able to make her way, oh of course almost everywhere that we've got uh, has been cut off. There is a huge amount of radiation here so I'm trying to keep my duplicates away from that I would like to put some uh, plastic tiles down here and here but as you can see I've only got the plastic for five five of those tiles one two one two three like that that's it that that's all I can do that's gonna help because it does block radiation let's have a look on the properties over here by 68% which is a huge amount to block radiation by okay let's bust this open I've got a feeling we're gonna be calling plank back to reversal in here currently up in in the, uh, the, the the capsule here, we do need to upgrade this. It, it's very obvious that we need to tur uh, to turn our attentions to. I'm going to turn that off. I didn't actually mean to click that. Uh, turn our attention to something that I may have already researched. The, the, we're, we're getting to the point in the game now where a lot of the things that I'm looking for, I've actually already done. Yeah, here it is. The the spacefarer module. Beautiful. Let let's let's bring. Uh, plank back. Uh, how do I do this from here? We go change and we go back to Pyaxlin. Currently the only asteroid that has access to the space biome up here. Uh, if I go over to reverse Lin and have a look. Oh look, we need to... This is why we need um, plank back so we can figure out what's going on with the volcano. Are we active? I don't know. But as I was saying, look at all this hot stuff up here. This is stopping us get up, getting up to the space and uh, making use of our... Uh, oh, look, our, um, our uh, rockets just landed. Um, making use of our space area over here. What? What's, what's this? Why is this... What's taking damage here? Okay, this is taking damage. I, I recently have broken the generators off from the from the actual power drawers over here i also had some weird setup of uh going back and forth between going back and forth between different pa uh, power transformers to try and get the power going in and out this unfortunately ended up uh overwhelming my system that's why we had to separate the generators off into their own system instead uh because i was pumping all the power out to the grid draining the battery and then we would swap back so much power would flood back in one instant they would like melt all the wires uh so i disconnected this i why has this not been fixed though what are we missing is it lead no it's iron okay because i i'd also 
I'd really like to start digging up this way. We've got, we've got a little vacuum seal here. These two blocks here and here stop any gases exchanging. Vacuum at the background there. That's that's nice. That's nice. So we could we could dig our way up across this way. Maybe make a ladder or two. Maybe probably one obsidian ladders rather than sandstone don't want our means of transport melting underneath our very feet now do we and then if we can try and get across here and dig without without dropping lava on our head without dropping magma on our head so, something like that hopefully we could dig from here that way yeah that that would be cool well, Hank has very nicely been going around and putting things away whilst he's been on uh, Pyaxlan over here. But I really, I want him to pick up these data packs just as he has uh, so he can take those across with him to reverse them. We need, we need to send P Plank back over. He needs to analyze a volcano. Uh, it also needs to get himself some research doing. That, that That's, that's a definitely a thing. We have, over time, made ourselves the best part of 250 of the why is there radiation here 250 sorry i got i gotta check this why was he making the radiation sign it's because he himself is irradiated yeah absorbed rads nearly nearly 100 fair enough uh so that we can turn those 250 um data banks I, I i believe we only turned them into about 25 science uh, but I'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna send plank right over now uh, this could be a bad thing we might not actually be prepared on reversaling to deal with this many people at the same time maybe the extra hands will end up providing like surplus work and we could build a better future somehow i mean I'm all, I'm all about better futures here why, why why would i not be why would i not be all right plank plank is off and away i, I want to know what are you up to uh you're storing coal okay that's an interesting job okay before we go for the high velocity destruction I'm, I'm gonna do something that i've been meaning to do for a very long time but always found other things to be more important we're gonna research this conveyor thermo rail sensor no, rail thermo sensor that's what i'm trying to say uh, and we're gonna close this switch here there are uh, a few things we need to do once this drains out i need to get into the steam I need to replace this one thermosensor here. Let's just make sure that's the correct one. Yes, this one thermosensor here with the thermosensor that I was just talking about that we're going to research over here. That will measure the uh, the temperature of the rocks directly that are coming through here rather than trying to measure the temperature of the steam as a proxy for the temperature of the rocks. So maybe we could stop heating up this area quite as ridiculous as we have it. Look at this, look at this. Oh, it's terrible. 130 degrees, like, that, that's not duplicate safe. That is not duplicate safe. Uh, but also I've got this one one tile here and this one this keeps f taking some some like pressure damage because that that's a lot a lot of magma that comes through here so uh, let, let's try and let's try and double this up so that we can keep this safe that that would also be very nice. Oh, actually, this volcano is dormant. Let's go, go, go. P9 and also analyze. Whilst it's, whilst it's dormant, perfect time to get in there. What else do I need to build around this? Like, we, we know, we know that I'm going to need a steel door to be able to hold back the lava at some point. We're going to have to be able to turn it on and off. That's, that's a, a very much a must. And I suppose after that, it's just insulated tiles. Like, let, let's go with, uh, what, what are we going to have around? The whole bunch of granite. Let's go with granite just to be sure that we are indeed safe. Okay, that's gonna get very hot there, but I think we'll be fine. I mean, th that's the whole point of this door, is to be very hot. Mm. The fact that this is dormant makes me wonder about whether we're actually gonna get any power out of this in any meaningful time. But when has that ever stopped me from plowing forwards anyway? Plank's already not having the greatest time, and because I'm using the highest priority alarm here, well, it's not the highest, it's the second from highest. We have a much higher one over here that puts the whole base on alert. Uh, he can't actually escape from analyzing, so I'm, go I'm gonna let him loose. I, th I think that's fine. The fact that Boar is taking so long to fill in that tile is also stopping him. Uh, so because it's nighttime, they won't take on a new alarm. But the moment they wake up, they will. I'm, I'm going to turn this all down to nine. I think I think we're fine to turn these down off of super high priority. Apart from when he wakes up, we want to make sure this minor volcano gets uh, analysed by Plank as soon as possible. But if Plank needs to deal with food and, and bathrooms. I mean, he's already just dealt with the bathroom. One of the, uh, the good things about the bathroom is it takes 
a hundred rads away. So even though he was on the very verge of getting radiation sickness, he went to the toilet, boom, no no rads left. Cause because that's how it works, right? You just pee it out. Hey, my plastic wall did did what it's supposed to do. And we got five hundred rads on this side, sixty on this side. It's not not like amazing amazing it's not zero on this side but it, it's pretty good like we got 400 that we make our dupes walk through down here occasionally just gonna sit here and watch this yellow bar fill up and make sure that plank does not get covered with lava i i think that's fine wait 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 i, ca I can't use wait i can't use granite it will melt this this is bad i was just looking through the properties okay i need to Need to figure out something else. Uh, in that case, we're gonna hmm, I, I'll make it out of obsidian. It will take a while, but we can. Well, it looks like the analysis is gonna get done before the refit. Let's have a look. We've got next activity in seven cycles. Oh, Curie, please, you need to get out of there soon. And then we can keep the door locked. I'm not sure what we're gonna use to control. I, I do know what we're gonna use to control it because we're gonna basically be copying this system over here basically i'm not sure whether we're gonna get away with just one let's let's have a look one of the where are you steam turbines okay we can actually fit two in without having to bump up against the anti-entropy thermo nullifier so mm, yes which we might end up using for some cooling, but we might use a powered cooling system. I'm not sure yet. Oh, 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 we've not done this before. There, there we go. Oh, Plank was doing some, some data analysis from the virtual planetarium. That, That's really cool. Really cool. Whilst Plank goes around and does all the research, I would like to take this moment right here to thank the coolest people I know. That's right my patrons scroll up my screen right now you will see a list of names a list of names of the guys and girls who have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets to make sure me and my channel can continue on into the future slightly more comfortably than the duplicates can so i'd like to take this moment right here to thank every single one of them thank you thank you so much as a weird, desperate plan to try and get this water boiling so we can be making more steel, I've gone ahead and connected this loop up to this new one that I've built that goes up through the very, very hot areas up here. Now, I'm really hoping that my water that is in there does not overboil. Uh, we are going through a ridiculous temperature and we need to bring it round and down. 39, 40. Oh, please, please don't do it. Please don't do it. If we get back down here and we're still relatively chill then that's good but the the temperature gain on at least that first one was a lot like a lot a lot 50 that that's that's an insane temperature to be coming through with uh water um but that's fine now the question well it, it turns out that it was fine the question that i've got now is do i add more water to the system because we've got this gap going right here and my answer is going to be yes because we're going to break this loop off into its own thing here when we can so just as this finishes coming round i'm going to start letting this uh, pour into there as well this should hopefully be at the point now where my thermal aqua tuna starts building up and getting nice and warm. I want to see that hit triple digits pretty quickly, you know. Uh, 63. It is in contact with the water. Even though it doesn't look like it, there is a layer of water across the top of these airflow tiles which is going to conduct the heat away. Now the temperature over, look at this. Oh, this is great. We're cooling everything down. That's that's beautiful, that's beautiful. What about here? Warming it all up. Okay, nice. So I'm looking at the build trajectory of this particular project over here, and I just don't think we're gonna get it done in the 3.9 cycles that the volcano has left of being dormant. Now I have seen this thing on Reddit, and I've gotta say, I saw this ages ago, and it was one of these cool things that you kind of look at, you go, oh, that's nice, and then promptly forget all about until a, a horrific emergency situation presents itself, and then you realize you don't remember all of the details. So I find 
find myself in that situation where I can't even find the post on Reddit. I searched, trust me, I've, I've spent the past sort of hour or so looking for it. it. It's not there, or rather, it was actually some comment to someone else having a similar problem like this. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a heat transfer plate, and I'm going to come down here and grab some a cold heat transfer plate and just pop that in the background there. Now, the idea is that the coal is going to get warmed up when the volcano erupts uh, to uh, 1,500, something like that. Can we find any coal lying around? Let me see if I've got some coal lying around for this demonstration. Well, not demonstration, explanation. Okay, here's some down in the bottom corner. If I come to the properties, you can see that its melting point is quite low, only 276 degrees. What happens at that point? Turns into refined carbon, turns into a natural block of refined carbon. So if I have this block, uh, this uh, temperature shift plate here, and this turns into a natural block, that will then clog up the minor volcano. That's the theory. We'll see how it actually works out. And of course, this one, very, very important. Okay, and here goes a delivery of coal. Not, not being built. Okay. Oh, we brought a very small amount of coal. Okay. Okay, that's a much healthier amount of coal getting chilled down as it is being carried by Curie. I wonder what Curie's body temperature is right now. It is definitely cooling down, but hopefully not too much. Is she currently suffering from hypothermia? She is. That's a shame. We'll, we'll give her some time off when this has been built. I mean, we won't. That, that's, that's lies. These are empty promises made by the corporation. The next thing I was going to do, of course, was to upgrade this area in here. We need to get the food out of this place and put them back inside. Let's put that down to a one and see if the duplicates will just do that. No pending deliveries. But what about if we come over here and look at this fridge over... Oh, it's... it's it's rammed. They're, ne they're never going to empty it out. All right, what the... Fine, they're never going to empty it out. Let's just remove this module then. I keep forgetting there's a deconstruct error and I keep expecting it just to like happen, but no, 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 we need to wait for a duplicate. And of course, I've done this just before the end of cycle. Okay, Ruben's come along to take this one apart. I'm a little bit intrigued to know what... Ooh, research, nice. Uh, intrigued to know what's going to happen to all the stuff inside. Just drops on the floor. Okay, let's uh, also take a moment and have a look. No, nothing really got dropped in the way of the gases. Okay, that's cool. There's two things that I want to place down. First is a solar panel module. I have glass on the way from reversing. Of course, we were making glass down here. Uh, there's still the 700 kilograms that we've made so far, but I have... Uh, for it to be delivered over here someone will get onto it short if we do that someone will get onto it very very quickly yeah that's the only thing i'm asking to have sent over uh, which means we could put both a uh, one of those on and of course the spacefarer module that's the, the the next thing we want to build and then a basic nose cone on top of that what was stopping me building the nose cone 200 kilograms of insulator i thought car uh, coal counted it was, of course, refined carbon that they wanted. What was it? An industrial ingredient? No. It was a consumable. Okay, refined carbon. Okay, go. Okay, there's someone grabbing the glass. All 700 kilos of it. That's nice. We can definitely take that. Uh, and I wonder who's got... Is that carbon there? Beautiful. All right. I don't think we need to have it at such high priority now. Or is on the way with the glass. Great. Okay, turns out we were short of metal as well. Of, co of course we were. But this... It's a brand new system. I like it. I mean, it's essentially the same system, but bigger. One of the other problems we have is that the steady influx of temperature from the hot gas vent here, the hot oxygen vent, has slowed down. So I'm going to hook it up to uh, all of these solid tiles that have a whole bunch of temperature still still residual within them. And maybe we can start bringing the whole temperature. I mean, if all else fails, I'm going to run a cooling loop up there as well. I mean, this is going to end up being its own little standalone loop on this system here. So if I do go up there, we could say that we're coming across up round and down and in yeah so they have finished the rocket on pyaxlin and i've got to say the inside of this 
it's a little overwhelming. It's a lot of stuff going on here. I, we can put down some things that I know I want to go down. For instance, as soon as I find it in my list somewhere, the orbital collection, uh, the orbital data collection point. Definitely want to put this. I mean, we'll, we'll start right up in the corner there because where else are we going to put it until we get a, a better idea that will do uh, that was not the rotate key uh, we're going to put a toilet over there of course that that would be good maybe we can make an actual toilet maybe we could get a little sink do we have the uh, uh, hand sanitizer we don't have bleach stone no we don't have the metal ore really yeah I do 8.2 ton why not what's wrong I've only got 10 kilos of bleach stone. Okay, let's uh, let's dig some more then. Oh wait, thinking about it, not only do I not have a duplicate who is able to do so, but do I really, do I really want chlorine loose in here? I have been waiting literally hours for this water to turn to steam so I can get on and solve a whole bunch of issues with the power of steel. But this has just taken so long. So long, in fact, that I've gone ahead and built myself another pipe network over here. And I am just going to connect these bad boys up and put in a little split like that. Okay, beautiful. This should now be cooling down my power generation unit over here and this battery pack. Some point, we're going to replace this jum jumbo battery. Because obviously, this got up to 100 degrees here. It started melting my poor little battery that can only survive up to 75. So yeah, that, that that's something that needs to be... Oh, look at that. Plank is on it as we are talking about. Curie sparkle streaking everywhere. We've been waiting so long, in fact, that the minor volcano changed from uh, dormant to active, and immediately, the very second it came in and was active, it went, oh, I'm going to be idle for nine, uh, for 14 cycles. I was like, 14 cycles is a long time. We'll, we'll sit and wait for that. I actually wanted to get all of this swept out of here. Hopefully, that will get done pretty soon. I uh, I cancelled those, all those jobs because I didn't want my dupes swimming in magma which which i think is fine uh, okay let, let's have a look do we have the heat going around the system okay i see i see that we've got a big gap in the system now i'm okay with big gaps in the system no i'm okay with small gaps in the system the big gaps are going to need to be filled in uh, by by this water pipe right here let, let's do it let's fill in this gap i think coming underneath like this actually this gives priority to the inflow it's fine it's fine i i will watch it and change it but i'm hoping that this now will provide provide a bit more heat down in the system to turn the water into steam. I really need that water into steam. Not least of all, because I think it's time to add a new metal to our repertoire. Look at this wolframite to tungsten. So wolframite is something that I got from digging out the cold biomes. If I can come over here, we might be able to see some. There's a little bit of wolframite over there. And it turns out that you can sm smelt wolframite into tungsten. Tungsten's all right, you know, it's a nice metal. Uh, but if we go through, it turns into liquid. Uh, in fact, let's come down and have a look at this because it's a much more um, telling set of stats. It turns into liquid at 3400 yeah okay what, what's so special about 3400 well it's exactly 1000 degrees above well not exactly but close enough what well, above the melting point of steel and you know i've been using steel because it's the high melting point metal so tungsten is one that we can use it also has a thermal conductivity of 60 once again if we come back to the steel and have a look because passing temperature around is something else i've been doing it's only got a thermal con conductivity of 54 i've been using the wrong metal so we're going to be moving on to tungsten and who knew that we had access to it so early on? I sure didn't. If we get some tungsten and some niobium and use it in the molecular forge, which I don't have research at the moment, but we do have access to the research. It, it's well within. We don't even have to do a, spend any space science on it. Uh, we, we could then be doing uh, the, the, the next one that it talked about up here, turn, making thermium, which, as the name might be able to tell you, is even better at uh, uh, transferring temperatures are around 2000, uh, 220 that's like uh, four times as much amount just just about so yeah in summary it, it's time we made ourselves some all from it unfortunately we've got a lot of copper queued up i've been using copper to try and pump the 
uh, heat into the water. If we, if we have a look inside the metal refinery, we've actually got a few pockets of liquid. Uh, 420 of petroleum at uh, 96 degrees. Almost nice, almost. Petroleum here, 400 kilograms at 97. Uh, the, both of these have uh, been climbing up in temperature because obviously we need to have them over 100 degrees in there because we want to have the steam over 100 degrees. And then the 100 degrees will be like the, 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 the new equilibrium point. Oh, here we go. More glass being fed into the system. It's gonna take a little while. Always does. Always does. How's that? How's that wolframite coming along? I really would would like it to be turned over. Delivering copper. I'll, I'll give you a shout when we when we've got some some tungsten. Oh, it's happening. It's ha I, I was watching on the temperature overlay and it just suddenly became very red in here. Okay, that's that's nice. That's nice. Why are these turning over? It shouldn't be that hot. Uh, these should be limited to 200 degrees, no, 150, something like that. And, and these are only just coming out at zeros. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of okay. Uh, 100, sorry. <laughs> Zero degree over. Uh, let's press F4, see what's going on. We've, we've got some vacuums forming up, but I think mostly we're okay with this. What I really want to know is now that the steam is out and live, is it going to pick up, yeah, the temperature of the the liquids running through it okay this is nice we should be able to get these guys up turning nice and hot pretty soon and also i think it's time to uh get the steel turning over that's what i've been really waiting for <laughs> plenty of items in here aren't quite up to temperature yet that's that's fine it will take a little while it will take a little while but it will get there the thermoac tuner finally 100 degrees Okay, so now that the steam's being made, let's watch. It goes out at 260 degrees. Uh, this was the last batch. I don't know if it went out the same, but 130 coming back is pretty chill. That's nice. Let's see if this comes down. Uh, I want to aim 150. 150 sounds good by the time it comes back through. And yeah, we're all the way down to 120. So it, it becomes ambient with its surroundings pretty fast okay that's that's cool this is what we like to see the whole thing is turning over like an amazing machine that was designed by a genius i think we might have arrived at the moment where we're gonna have to send curie home after a few uh, uh, additional features we need to get dug in here uh, because we're at the point where we are actually choked for iron would you believe we do not have enough iron or enough iron ore to turn that over into actual iron uh, and i found some all the way down here but unfortunately curie is the only person that can actually dig it so we need to send her home to do that there's also like little pockets of iron ore that we're going to make sure everybody can dig out and grab but this this seems to be a fundamental limit on what we can make with the steel that's kind of fine because we've also found the tungsten via the magic of wolframite <clears throat> oh plank okay yeah that's fine i mean if you're gonna do that i'm gonna come along to curie and be like hey do you want to go back to the the realm of more food i think you might no, she'd, she'd rather eat the food here first. Okay. We we had thousands of calories last time I looked, and now we don't. So as I was saying before, I was somewhat rudely interrupted by the end of the day. Let's send Curie back home and see if she can't do some better work. Also, maybe send some food over just, just for the day or so. I knew we were a little bit ahead of what the ranches could... Uh, produce. Didn't realise it was quite that desperate though. Uh, so coming down to here, what what food do we have here? We have gristle berries, barbecue. Let's just send all the barbecue we've got. They they kind of need the barbecue on the other side. Of course, Kiri's not just been digging iron products. She has been building stuff with her return. She is the only one that will prioritise building above all others. Everybody else has got a variety of different jobs to do, which means we probably do need to try and get ourselves another builder over here at some point, as we are making more than enough food at Pyaxlin. I'm not sure about reversing though. I, I was gonna, if any, if any, any rock really needs to have a little bit of a redo when it comes to the food, it, it's definitely reversed in here. I really thought the output of this machine would be enough to keep these uh, stone hatches turning over. Turns out no, turns out no. Oh, but now we're back to 40,000 calories. What is it? We this is crazy. This is up and down, up and down all over the place. We, we must be in some sort of like death wave system with the stone hatches. All right, so I'm trying to put a me uh, metal tile in place, a tungsten metal tile in place. Oh, 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 we're there erupting in 0 0.3. Of course, we do have a temperature shift plate made out of coal in the background there as a... A, a, a small way to try to try and block this thing back up we're hoping that the coal will melt 
at uh, 276 degrees, turn into a block of refined carbon, and then just kind of jam up the works of this minor volcano. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for this guy to go. I mean, 0.2 cycles, that is a thing. Over here, I've been trying to uh, gently encourage people to make the steel. It is the thing that we want. We've got uh, 487 kilograms at the moment. I, I need thousands. Absolute thousands. Let's give Plank a little boost to operate and see if that that helps things. Of course, Plank will be leaving and going back to space. But uh, I'd like to. Ooh, okay, we're we're at a countdown. I'm gonna I'm gonna rush through this pretty quickly. I mean, a minute is a long time to wait. I might bring you back in at 10 seconds. Okay, heart rate has actually started to increase. I'm really worried about this. This is a, a, a lot of magma that is about to get spilled out, and it could go very, very wrong. I could just end up sealing this all up. And oh, it worked! It worked. We've got some very hot igneous rock down there, but more importantly, refined carbon, 275 degrees, just sat there saying no. All right, beautiful. We can we can get on and build the rest of this now. It's time to send another member of our highly trained team over to Reverslin. Franklin has a whole bunch of skills that we need to be able to make the steam room and the, well, the turbine specifically. So I need to take her over there. We're in the box now, so let's teleport. Uh, just so you know, I've been building the, uh, the the rocket out. That's almost finished. Away we go. Any moment, bam, off we go. I wonder, like, look at all these different particles going off in different directions. Is that is that really the situation that that we're in there uh, isn't it isn't it a nice collimated beam that that would be great right so i need to change franklin's priorities we don't need her running around and doing all the operate though th that is nice don't get me wrong i want her building to be the very highest of priorities the way I see it, I have about 12 and a half cycles to get this up and running before the minor volcano needs to erupt. So I'm going to need to put things like some ventilation in here. We're going to be able to want to uh, pump out all the gases. To that end, I'm building a liquid lock. Don't like them, but here we are doing it uh, again. I'm not sure what liquids we're going to drop. I do have, where, where is it? Over here, a little, little reserve of petroleum. So we might be dropping that. Here comes more iron over. Beautiful. That's making steel and, and lots of it we're nearly at two tons that's great oh the glass is now spilling out we've we've got ourselves a single ton of glass in this pile and now it falls over into the other pile instead okay that that's interesting i'm going to see if that is true as this pumps across i can see some liquid blobs back there okay so it is adding on it must have just spread out or something i wonder i wonder <laughs> While things are being built and people are getting stressed, shall I just quickly show you this rocket design that I've got here? Look, I've got a mess hall, a bedroom, and a washroom. Sorry, a barracks, not a bedroom. I couldn't quite figure out how to get the comfy bed in here. I tried to play around with stuff up in this corner, uh, but I would have to. I mean, I could sacrifice. This. I, I don't need the telescope. Let's let's be honest. I don't need the telescope. That's just a, a nice to have. So I could easily sacrifice that and get the comfy bed up here as well. But almost everything that we want to be taking, like resource-wise, can come from outside uh, we, we need liquids that can come from look it, it, it's here it's ready to go we, we need gases it's here it's ready to go I did not put carbon dioxide scrubbing in here but that loads of room it's easy enough to fit it in uh, back to reversing though how uh, ooh, ooh, I love the sparkle streaks it's great that petroleum should hopefully be coming for this liquid lock and as soon as we get all of this built which should be Franklin's next port of call though she is looking a little bit it beaten up i'm not not overly impressed by that uh but as long as all of this can get built we can start pumping out all the gases that's an awful lot of petroleum let's turn that off and um can, can we pop that we can pop that okay gotta gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that <laughs> Okay, so the plan as it stands, now that we've got a liquid lock in place, let's actually deconstruct this and get that taken down as fast as possible, uh, is to get Franklin, once all the gas has been pumped out, to go in and destroy this block of refined carbon, 
build up this uh, tungsten and a igneous, no, 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 and a obsidian insulated tile right here. And then that should be, apart from pumping some water in, ready to go. I'm going to leave this gas pump here. Let's, you know, let's hook it up to a signal switch as well. And this way we should be able to extract steam if, if we ever want to up somewhere near the surface. Also, how are we doing here? Ah, great. We are actually good here, so we need to start digging up and around. That might be for another day, though. We, of course, need this whole place to be a vacuum, because if there's any materials in it, any gases, any liquids, uh, there will be transfer from the magma to, uh, say, this door here. If there was a bit of uh, gas in here when we had magma and this door closed, the, the heat would still transfer across. Well, of course, the, the whole point of this door closing and opening is to stop that happening. Rutherford not having a great time, but that was because he was the only person who could dig the abyssalite, and we had to drag him away to this horrific area to dig. Okay, we're at the part where the vacuum starts to spread all of its own accord. I think what's going on is there's like blobs of one microgram and it tries to split into two to fill up the vacuum and it just goes, nope, can't do that and deletes itself somehow. Uh, okay, so we've got a small little bottleneck here the uh, the tungsten tile got pl put in place that that's okay that's no problem does mean it's going to take a little bit longer to go up and through that but you might be wondering hey twitchy where's the cooling system at least for the steam turbines up here well in the background i've gone and put down a whole uh, gas line over here which steals a hydrogen off of this system and uh, pumps it into here for cooling i could go about all sorts of fancy uh, fancy cooling systems heat exchange exchange systems but I think all I'm gonna do is just let this block of ice get really cold and um, yeah that's 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 probably about it let this block of ice get really cold so I guess the thing left to do is to dig this carbon out uh, we've got four cycles left so we've done it we've done it in plenty of time plenty of time no one says they can get here why no, I'm, I'm on the wrong one. That's why. That's why. All right, uh, let's uh, make that happen. Oh, of course, Rutherford. Rutherford, of course, the one with the most stress at the moment. So who would not? Who, who else would I select to go into the volcano? I mean, that's the. Of course, they self-selected. I had nothing to do with that particular decision. I want to watch the gas overlay here. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to get a little bit of a breathe out whilst we're here okay this is good and now turn around and run away okay great i like it get outside no carbon dioxide in there there is a bit of carbon dioxide in the bottom though i kind of wanted that to be maybe hydrogen something that shares gas uh, shares temperature faster i'm gonna put this one tile on here i might regret that and i might end up breaking in to go for two tiles but for now that's pretty good Okay, fresh water being added to the system. I'm not sure how much we're going to need, but we've got to wait five cycles for this to even start ticking over. Someone had managed to breathe in my vacuum. Oh no, what is this? Okay, let's uh, let's stop the water flow for a moment. Thankfully, it's not far away. If we just do that, that should stop everything. Okay, great. Wait for the gases to leave again. <laughs> Okay, we are nearly ready for our first live firing of this system. We've got ourselves a, a, a robo miner and an auto sweeper down here. Okay, the magma is alive. It is loose. Are we going to have enough to drop down? It's all instantly turning into igneous rocks. That's not quite what I wanted. Hopefully that's not a pile that's now getting larger. No. Okay, so we're filling up here. This tile is getting hot. The water is also getting hot. When it gets above 200 degrees, what is going on with this? igneous rock here we need to try and figure out how we can get it out of there once it goes above 200 degrees it will shut the door i'm very interested to know i said we're back into idle we're not we're not throwing any more out okay so this is the amount of magma that we get in between eruptions 15 cycles between eruptions this should be fine i'm surprised that everything hasn't like this is 300 degrees now why isn't this slam shut it's taking time for the temperature to spread. Let, let's let's press the old temperature button. Yeah, it's definitely taking time for the temperature to spread, but that should be fine. I did make this out of obsidian. Oh, there we go. And is it going to do it? Is it not? I haven't really set up the right way. That's still green. We want that to turn 
Man, I'm not sure what's going on with the temperature gradients here. Uh, let's just let that see what it does. Let's, let's let it settle down and see what happens. I mean, it did what I needed it to do, so that's good. I'm not so keen on the fact that there's magma in all of this, though. But power is being produced, indeed. We could probably actually get away with putting more steam turbines on here, but as this seems to be what we're running with, this is climbing in degrees. Of course it will be. We've got all of this here. We, we need to wait now again for it to start cooling back down. That's going to take a little bit of time. I'm not sure how long, though. Okay, we've already got igneous rock here, waiting for the temperature on this thermosensor, uh, of course, because it's... Hmm, because it's only got carbon dioxide in there and not that much either. I would have thought that the temperature would have been passed to a gas of not very high um, density, but it turns out no. Okay, we need to put something else in there that will in fact pick up the... Oh, overheat. Steel overheat damage. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. We didn't actually really want that there to be honest anyway. Yeah, it would have been nice to keep that, but whatever. It, it was, so that means we're definitely over 275. Should have built it out of tungsten. Should have built it out of tungsten. And so for the real test, I have been running this base without my radiation uh, gatherers turned on because we haven't been able to keep the power turning. Going to have to get in there and get that steel, uh, steel pump out. I'm really worried what's going to happen. I think my Robo Miner might actually need to come and look along this way. Hmm. My door's the wrong way up. That's the problem. Look at this. Everything is chilling. Okay, this is going to be a little bit hot to do it now, but I want to show it for the sake of demonstration. I'm going to come through and flick this switch so that my Robo Miner can mine this out. What I'm mostly interested in, yeah, that auto mine uh, sweeper picks up, and now this is going to start cooling down. Also, this is now going to be very hot. Storage bin is minus 14, but we've got 600 degree igneous rock in there, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see what's going Why are you putting igneous? Oh, people have picked up. They're like, no, no, the, uh, the critters need to eat this. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Okay, the temperature of the thermo sensor keeps creeping down. I'm hoping it reaches the uh, the critical temperature of a zero of a 200 degrees. Put a zero on the end of that too, and see what happens. Obviously, we should have put some sort of filtration on there. We're going to have problems as this kind of goes back and forth between states, but. Hmm. So we've got a whole bunch of igneous rock in here. I wonder whether this is going to melt next time the volcano erupts. But I'm afraid that is going to have to be a time, uh, something for uh, next time. We've got a basic system in place. It is ready to go. It is turning heat into power. And we are loving that. I will see you guys uh, next time when we're going to continue on with the whole space race over here. It's something that we needed to do, but really getting power to pi axing was uh, to reversing sorry was very very important so i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye